The sentencing hearing began about two hours ago, and from the start, the judge said it was going to be a lengthy sentencing hearing, and he was right. Tim Mapes arrived this morning around 9 o'clock to court with a new look, a freshly shaved head. Mapes was once known in Springfield as the gatekeeper to longtime House Speaker Michael Madigan. This case centered around Mates' testimony to a grand jury in July 2021. The Justice Department had granted immunity to Mapes in that testimony so long, they said, as he told the truth in relation to its investigation of Mike Madigan and political corruption. Prode prosecutors allege that Mapes instead lied to the grand jury trying to protect Madigan from a widening investigation. The jury found Mapes lied when he gave a series of I do not recall answers to questions about orders that Mike Madigan had given to his longtime friend and ComEd lobbyist Michael McLean. McLean, for his part, was found guilty in May, along with three others, on charges related to a bribery scheme, a conspiracy involving payments from ComEd to Madigan Associates. Well, this morning, the judge went through the sentencing guidelines of between 51 and 63 months for Mapes, which is what prosecutors are asking for. Mapes' attorneys want probation and community service. The judge also said he would allow some letters written in support of Mapes submitted to the court to be unsealed. Many of those letters were written by former and current public officials. Again, we are awaiting the sentencing of former longtime uh, chief of staff to Mike Madigan, Tim Mapes, in this uh, investigation and case that involves Mapes lying to a federal grand jury. When that uh, sentence is handed down by the judge, of course, we will be here and we'll bring it to you both online at WGNTV.com and right here on Channel 9. For now, that's the latest from the Dirksen Federal Courthouse. Sean Lewis, WGN News.